I once was lost, lost into the amazing graciousness of her song that whispered to my metronome of my heart, beckoning me to take a road trip on melodic staffs with quarter notes and toll boots that took toll on the very being of my very existence. Love has been real. Love was most real at that moment, in the middle of Atlanta, in a parking lot where homeless men sleep, in front of a grocery store dubbed Murder. Because it was yeah. us, baby, way before them, in Bristol together. A hand reached out the Jeep window. My steering had not been discreet enough. You reached out to me. I was the only person in the Greens parking lot. Miraculous, at 3.30 on a Friday. This was a miracle, undoubtedly. You're different. You're like the starry sky Van Gogh painted that night. One that came to life, each stroke specifically placed, feeding and flowing off of one another to create something powerful. You're the drips and drops of Jackson Pollock's number five. Consequently, the product of free thinking, a lack of caring what others would say, didn't affect you. It didn't matter. You're the obscene complexities of a Renaissance man's portrait that has relentlessly captivated and conjured up the questions of generations of museum goers in France. Eyes and your perfect white smiles, the description of you had men run to you for miles. I can love you, and I mean love you in the right way. Just accept my invitation to love and may please make my day. I can make you happy every day, and I can even make you laugh. One plus one will equal us, so go ahead and do the math. My love will never have to patience, no way. Those were the days, thinking about how you told me you loved me and that you were always thinking of me. Raindrops, box candies, and knives. Played piano. Check number one on my list of the best sort of man. Not only that, but you had the widest smile that stretched from your lips to mine whenever we kissed. Like connecting two electrical currents that sparked at the slightest touch of the other. Call us two wavelengths, wait, moving on each other's poles. Whenever your waves crested high, I was there to bring you back to my level. And like Harmony, we were in tune to one another, but you were the first to fall out of tune, and instead of being natural, you became flat and cold. You played with the casual end of an ace, and hit all the thrills with a bottle of pills, surfing on waves of the They say it should be a healthy relationship, <laughs> and I'm needed my hospital. What should I do when you make me feel like this, but it kills me inside, to see the true feelings behind your life? Thing, I think that comes to, that comes with like, that comes with building healthy relationships is communication. Like the biggest thing is as hard as it can be and how much that other person might get on your nerves sometimes, talking to them is usually the easiest way to solve the problem. And 